form six important questions about spiritual gift. And the first of those questions is, what is a spiritual gift? A spiritual gift is, I refer to it as a divine enablement. The Spirit of God enables you to do something that you would not have been able to do had it not been for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Now listen, some folk have problem discriminating between a spiritual gift and talent. The major difference is that the first thing an unsaved person cannot have a spiritual gift, but he or she can have talent. As a matter of fact, in the case of the Apostle Paul, Saul Tasha, he was an outstanding teacher before the Damascus Road experience. His abilities, all his abilities that he had, was being used against Jesus Christ rather than for Jesus Christ. On the Damascus Road, when he was converted, those talents became spiritual gifts. And he started utilizing them for Jesus Christ, or for kingdom building. Who has the spiritual gift? Every born again believer has at least one spiritual gift. When we have concluded the discussion of these 19 spiritual gifts, and if you come to the conclusion that you don't have one, you need to go back to the morning thing. Every believer have been given at least one spiritual gift. How many spiritual gifts are there? And I've already stated several times that there are 19 and that they fall into three groups. Serving, speaking, and signing. What is the purpose of the spiritual gift? God has not given anyone a gift so that they can brag about how good they can do something or that they are better than somebody else at doing that particular task. But the purpose of the spiritual gift is so that the individual will be more like Christ. And he is a part of, uh, she, he or she is a part of the body of Christ. And when all of those gifts come together, the church is a spiritual body, we can do all of the work that Christ did through his physical body. A spiritual gift is lost when they're not used. God is not an Indian gift. If you do not utilize your spiritual gift, you will not lose it. You, just, you lose your joy. You lose the joy of your salvation. You will not be happy and content with life. Why I need to discover my spiritual gift? You need to discover your spiritual gift so that the body of Christ might be edified or built up and so that you might have joy as you worship the Lord and as you live your life down here uh, on earth.